Hi, this is back in one one. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the types of service discovery in microservices. I assume you have a basic understanding of service discovery. If not, consider watching the previous episode. I will attach the link at the i button. Let's get started. This is our basic setup. We have order service and deliver service. Both of them have their own IP address. When these services start up, they register their IP address to the discovery server. Discovery server maintains the IP address of the services running. In the client side discovery, whenever order service wants to communicate with the delivery service, it first queries for the IP address of the delivery service to the discovery server. Discovery server would return the IP address of the delivery service. After getting the IP address of delivery service, order service now can make the request to the delivery service. If we observe closely, it is the order service which is doing the major task. It is asking for the IP address and it is actually making the request. Order service knows that there is discovery server. So since order service is the client of discovery server, and the client is doing the major task. This process is also known as the client side discovery. What about server side service discovery? In server side service discovery, we introduces the additional component known as proxy or load balancer. We can use a gateway for this as well. Uh, whenever order service wants to communicate with delivery service, in server side service discovery, order service would make the actual request to the load balancer. It is important to note that order service is not asking for the IP address. It is instead making the actual request that it would have made to the delivery service. After getting this request, load balancer or the proxy needs to get the IP address for the delivery service. For that, it communicates with the discovery server. The discovery server would return the IP address of delivery service to the proxy or the load balancer. Then the proxy or the load balancer would perform the actual request to the delivery service. Let's look at the advantages of client side discovery. So, the one advantage of client side discovery is that it does not need extra component proxy or load balancer. That means we do not have additional component to maintain and deploy. Also, since it doesn't have load balancer or proxy, the number of network hops is lesser in client side discovery than in server side discovery. Client side discovery has disadvantages as well. One disadvantage is that we need to implement the logic of querying IP address through discovery server in every microservices. Imagine both uh, order service was written in Java and delivery service was written in Golang. That means we need to implement the logic for querying the IP address in Java and Golang as well. So we need to have multiple implementation of client side service discovery in every microservices that would result in code duplication. Server side discovery solves the disadvantage of client side discovery. So in server side discovery, we do not have to implement the logic in every client. Instead, we can implement the logic in the load balancer or the proxy itself. So it solves the problem of client side discovery. However, server side discovery has one disadvantage that is we need another additional component. That means we have extra component to maintain and deploy. Also with the introduction of this proxy or the load balancer, the number of hops, network hops has increased in server side discovery. In this way, we have discussed the two types of service discovery. 
वन वॉज क्लाइंट साइड एंड एनदर वॉज सर्वर साइड बोथ ऑफ देम हैज देयर यूनिक यूज केसेस बिफोर यूजिंग देम इन माइक्रो सर्विसेस वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई आवर यूज केस एंड सेलेक्ट द एप्रोप्रिएट वन थैंक यू वील मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड